Hello again and welcome to another video. Today it's me and Karen. We're in Astro Vector. We're going to do the Four Falls walk. I think it's about five miles. It's five miles, Karen? I'm not sure. It's five hours. Yeah. Five hours. Right. Okay. All right. Then five hour walk. And we won't be doing a wild camp today. We're going to be camping in the new inn pub. They got a campsite joined on so I think it's five pound a night so we're gonna do something different today and see how this one goes see you in a bit today is the uh, 21st of September and it's a beautiful day it's gotta be 20 21 degrees and it's not bad for the end of September. So, we can make our way up to the waterfalls now. I haven't been here before. Karen, Karen has, but yeah, looking forward to this. See you in a bit. Yeah, so as I said earlier, we're going to do the Four Falls Trail today. That one there. It says allow three to four hours. But with Karen here, probably take more probably like five. five. So, it's got difficulty hard, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, let's carry on. You kind of done that way to Spoodraver. That I want to go to that one. Yeah. Because that you can go behind the falls there. You can walk behind that tree. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll go, go up that one. Cool. Well, this is the first walk for the country. I didn't catch any of this, so I'll, um, I'll have a look on the way back up. Beautiful man. Although I wouldn't fancy swimming in that. Right, I've just got back up now. That one was called Squeeze Clean Gwyn. And by my reckoning, that looks one of the smaller ones. That one there. I think you can walk behind that one. So that'd be interesting. Anyway, how much and upwards. Right, we're on our way to the um, next waterfall now, it's called Scud at Ira. I think it's something to do with snow. What does that mean, Karen? It's it's good at the yeah. snowfall. Yeah, Karen's a Welsh speaker. I'm Welsh, but I don't know the lingo, so... I'm get down there. Yeah, translator. So, uh, we're going to get down there now and have a coffee break. Oh, was it? Oh, like coming out to the pen like that. No. Can I weather? <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll make our way down here now. All the way down to the bottom. Stand back up. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's spectacular when you get down to the bottom. How's oh, it? Cool. It's worth it. <laughs> it's worth the climb down. Good. And the climb back up? <laughs> climb back up, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> right then, here it goes. Oh. Uh, no. 
Nice. Let's get on it. Right, so we finally made it on the steps. And there is Steve at Isla. Quite impressive to be fair. Yeah, pretty spectacular. So you are. I can't believe I haven't been here before. This is bloody gorgeous. It really is, and um, you can walk underneath that, so don't try and do it enough. Okay, I'll do next. So you are. It's not my act of fools, but better to see Wales. That's wicked. That's a miss. Right, we're on our way to our third waterfall now. I think this one's called Scud uh, Pana or something. Um, we're gonna have a cup of coffee down here. We were gonna have one on the last waterfall, but it was too wet and there was nowhere to sit. So let's make our way down here then. Right, we're going to take a bit of a pit stop now. A uh, cup of coffee. NYC coffee, two and one. And some of Karen's homemade soup. So yeah, happy days. Tastes better than it looks. So you say. <laughs> Healthy. Yep, cool. Right. Have a break and we'll um catch up even a bit. Right, we made our way to the fourth and final waterfall now. And that's it there, it's not the biggest one. But it's equally as nice as the other three. So yeah. Not quite a nice spot. Right, I'll ask my um, Welsh translator now. What's this one called? It's called Scud Isaf Cwyn Gwyn. And that means in English? No idea. You know. No, I don't. Something white, lower white. I don't know what yeah. 
So there we have it. Even the Welsh speakers don't know what it means. Just walk a bit further up now and have a look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got another one before further up. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 Right. Tell you what, I can't believe I've been here before. I know. Awesome. Really good, you think of. I can imagine I'm in the middle of summer, July or August, June, something like this, and then we're working out with. I think I've done this work, I feel a bit of a disservice because down the bottom I haven't seen a lot of it, and then I come on the corner and you've got all this. There we go, that's um, where the waterfalls. You've got to be fair, they are impressive. Lovely. Back on the path now. Back to the car park. That's the first leg of the day done. And we're going to head over to the pub campsite now. Don't know where it is, but I'm sure we'll find it. So, um, we'll see you there. Right, just got to the pub. That's it there, the new inn in the background. And the camping is up there somewhere. So we're going to have a swift pint now. Pay the bar staff and pitch up. See you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. We're in the pub now, having a well in pint. Just walked six miles. Pay for the, um, Camping, five pound per person per night. Absolute bargain. So, yeah, cheers, darling. Cheers. See you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. We're now in the new inn camping field. So, it's time to put up the tent. Right, voila. As if by magic, tents up. Didn't take long, did it? Right, tonight we're using Karen's Berg House Peak 3.3 Pro, and because it's not strictly a wild camp, we're going to have a bit of luxury. Double inflatable air bed with sleeping bags, obviously. Nice big um, vestibule area. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And we've got 
We've got a table, like a picnic bench. So yeah, all in all, five pound, five pound each. You can't go wrong, really. And we've got the pub over there. Table booked for seven o'clock. Nice evening meal. Who's that in there? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to my nuts. So, all in all, good day and hopefully a good night. Catch you in a bit. Right then, we're back in the pub now. Just had our food. I had the uh, boozy cow pie. Karen had the uh, hunter's chicken, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to have a couple more of these. Karen's on the gin. And uh, yeah, we'll enjoy the rest of our night and we'll see you in the morning. See you later. Just woke up. It's 20 past five. And I've never heard so many owls in all my life. And that's why it woke me up. Bloody hell. There's got to be at least four of them back and forth, back and forth, hooting. You're there then, all the time. There's also a cockerel around here. And if you ever need an early morning alarm call, that's, that's right there. Whew. You hear that then? Loads of them. <clears throat> oh, anyway. I'll go back to bed, I think. Try and get another hour. You hear that? Bloody hell. Noisy gets. <laughs> uh, any more for any more? Yeah, another one. <laughs> I never heard anything like it. Back and forth all the time. <laughs> right, okay. I'll try to have another uh, couple of hours sleep. <laughs> See you later. Good morning. Welcome back. Be pleased to know I got some sleep eventually after the owls and the cockerels uh, shut up. I'm having a cup of coffee now. And then. Pack up the tent, we're going to make our way home, so see you in a bit. That's us all packed up now, we're going to head on out of here. So um, yeah, if you like the video, hit the like button, show uh, our channel some love, if you want to, subscribe, and um, definitely recommend this place. It's the new inn in Ursula Vector, we'll definitely be back, so yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.